First at Five. From the University of Florida's College of Journalism and Communications, you're watching WUFT News. The Florida Legislature is currently voting on a new budget. Good evening. It's Monday, June 22nd. I'm Keenan Scott. And I'm Spencer Dopkin. Thanks for joining us. After an especially contentious legislative session, the state legislature plans to approve nearly $80 billion spending plan. If it is not in place by July 1st, the state could face a partial shutdown. After it is approved, the budget will be sent to Governor Scott, who can veto individual spending items or the whole budget, but it is not expected to do so. Today is the last day the American Red Cross is paying for a hotel for some apartment fire victims in Gainesville. The, the fire at Sunset Apartments displaced 32 residents Tuesday night. The apartment complex is going to pay for an additional two days at the hotel. There's no estimate of when the residents can return to their apartments. Officials say repairs can't begin until the building has been fully inspected. Two Florida kids are being hailed as heroes after rescuing neighbors from a burning mobile home in Orange County. 10-year-old Isaiah Francis and 11-year-old Jeremiah Grimes called 911 after noticing the fire. The two boys rushed into the home and rescued two babies. Firefighters got there in time to rescue two other children who are now recovering at the hospital. Florida prosecutors plan to file charges against the man they say tried to shoot George Zimmerman last month. Matthew Apperson is facing a charge of second-degree attempted murder. According to investigators, a bullet almost hit Zimmerman as it went through the win passenger window of his car. Investigators say Apperson had a fixation with Zimmerman, who was acquitted in the shooting of Trayvon Martin in 2013. This week marks National Sea Turtle Week, dedicated to the protected marine reptiles commonly found in the Gulf. In Panama City, marine biologists are preparing to release almost 200 turtles back into the wild. On Wednesday, the turtles will leave the Panama City lab and will be released in Fort Pierce. After nearly 40 years, a Florida water park is closing. Universal's Wet n Wild Water Park will close permanently at the end of next year, but park goers won't stay dry for long. According to Universal Orlando, a new water park will be built on its property. Volcano Bay is slated to open in 2017. Well, that's a nice end to the story, isn't it? Yes, I know where I'll be in two years. Well, thank you for watching WUFT News First at 5. BBC World News is coming up next. Good night.